What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets at Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the latest Mets trade rumors, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. You already know what to do. All right, guys, so what is the latest Mets trade rumors that has been picking up a little bit of steam over the last couple of days? And that is Adam Frazier of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So, when it comes to Adam Frazier, who is he? What is he? Is he worth making a trade for when we already have a second baseman and we already have the outfield depth that we have with all the, the guys coming back healthy? Now, I actually like Adam Frazier. He is an all-star, by the way. I know it's for Pittsburgh, so you have to pick one player for their team. But Adam Frazier is a solid player. We're going to go over his stats. We're going to go over his contract. And we're going to go over possible trade scenario with Adam Frazier and what the Mets would have to give up to get Adam Frazier. Now, Adam Frazier is a player who is not a big power guy, as we're going to see in a little bit. I really like Adam Frazier. I think he'd be a really good addition to this Mets team. But when you look at where he plays, it's very interesting to look at why would the Mets go after Adam Frazier when he's a predominantly, mostly plays second base. Now, he can play the outfield, but he's mostly playing second base. And then you're going to say, say to yourself, but what about Jeff McNeil? Well, in my opinion, I think Sandy Olison and the Mets brass fell out of favor with Jeff McNeil. And the reason why I say that is because what the Mets wanted from Jeff McNeil is the guy we had in 2019 in the first half and parts of 2018. Is a guy who hits for a high average. He can hit you between 12 to 15 home runs and knock in about 60 RBIs. He's a guy to get on base Get base hits, get doubles, get on base for the big boppers behind him. Jeff McNeil has not done that over the past year and a half. This year and last year. And, and the second half of 2019. He became too pull happy, started with his launch angle swing, tried to hit home runs every time at bat. Stopped with his level swing, hitting it to the left side, hitting gap to gaps. He is not the same player he was a couple of years ago. And that's the problem because I think the Mets saw Jeff McNeil as a high average guy to get on base for the big boppers in the middle of the order. And look, you can just tell how much they fell out of favor of Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil should be in the leadoff spot or the two hole. He is in no man's land in the fifth and sixth spot. Jeff McNeil is not a fifth or sixth place hitter. He is a top of the order type of guy. When he is going the way Jeff McNeil is supposed to go. And that is getting base hits and getting on base. Not trying to hit home runs every time at bat. It was nice to see in the Milwaukee game when he got the game winning uh, two run RBI hit. When he just put the ball in play, went up the middle, got the game winner. That's the Jeff McNeil we need. But I don't think that's the Jeff McNeil we're going to be getting. And I think the Mets are frustrated by Jeff McNeil and his... Totally different approach than when he came up a couple of years ago. That's the problem I think the Mets have. And I think that's the reason why they are looking at Adam Frazier. Because he is a high average guy. He's not a power guy. He's not an RBI guy. But the guy gets on base. He's a solid defender. Can also play the outfield. And at this moment, he's a better all-around player than Jeff McNeil. He's a better average guy. At this moment, he's basically a better power guy for the most part. But I think that the reason why Mets, the Mets are looking at Adam Frazier is because Jeff McNeil is not exactly what they thought they were getting out of Jeff McNeil, which is the high average guy. And Adam Frazier is that guy. Now, when it comes to Adam Frazier and why I've been talking about the stats so much, because it's important to look at why the Mets are so interested in him. Because they do have Jeff McNeil at second base for the next couple of years. When you look at Adam Frazier, what do you see when it comes to his stats? So with his stats, 
He got a 2.5 war in 334 at bats, 109 hits, four home runs, batting 326, 52 runs, 28 RBIs, five stolen bases, an OBP of 396, slugging percentage of 461, and an OPS of 857. Now, that's exactly the numbers that Jeff McNeil should have. Because Jeff McNeil was that guy, and now he's a guy who swings for the fences. He ain't even close to a 300 average. He's not even providing the power that he supposedly thinks he has because he is not a power hitter. And I think the Mets are frustrated by that, where he should be in the top of the lineup, but because he's struggling, because he's not hitting for high average, he is in the middle of nowhere in the Mets lineup. And that's a huge problem for the New York Mets. Because if McNeil was a high average type of guy in this lineup, this team would be a hell of a lot better right now. Even more better than what they are right now with a four-game lead in the NL East going into the last series before the All-Star game. So that is Adams Frazier's stats right now. And I truly think I would not be surprised if Adam Frazier isn't met by the trade deadline or earlier than that. Because I really think they like a guy with a high average. And that's just my opinion, but I truly think that that's why they're really looking at Adam Frazier. And we're going to look at a little bit of a trade scenario a little bit. A lot of people will probably have a little bit of negative comments towards my trade package, only because my trade package can be a little controversial for Adam Frazier. So when we look at Adam Frazier and exactly what his contract looks like, because that's another important thing, because it also shows how big a package it has to be. Does he have length in his contract? Does he have a couple of years left? Which is important because there'll be, you know, top prospects. It can be, you know, a guy in our in our 25 man roster right now that might be wanted by the Pirates because he has control. When it comes to Adam Frazier and his contract, this is what it looks like right here with Adam Frazier. This year he's making four point three million dollars. So if the Mets do get him at that moment, he's probably making around $2.5 million left on his contract for the remainder of the season. So the Mets can easily pick that up without a problem. Now, because he's not expensive, that can mean that they might have to give one player on their roster and a lower level pros minor league prospect. Or they might give a little bit of a higher prospect and maybe a lower level guy on the roster. That's what Pittsburgh's looking at. Pittsburgh's looking at players with control. They don't want to pay anybody. So we're probably going to have to give a player or two that makes less than what Adam Frazier is making now with a little bit more team control. And that's what we have to look at when it comes to a trade scenario that we will get to in a little bit. So in 2022, he, Frazier is arbitration eligible for the last time before he becomes a free agent in 2023. So with Adam Frazier, you basically have a year and a half of control until he becomes a free agent at the age of 31. So, you get him in his prime. Adam Frazier is an all-star. You get a guy who has a high average type of guy who can easily slide into the top of the lineup. Got a little bit of speed, not a lot. But he is also a guy who is a high average guy that the Mets, I think, need in this lineup to get on base for the big boppers behind a guy like Adam Frazier. Because, again, Jeff McNeil was supposed to be that guy. And now Jeff McNeil is in 5th and 6th and 7th in the lineup. Most of the time, he, it's very rarely he's in the top two in the batting order anymore because he's not a contact guy anymore. He's a launch angle guy who changed his swing to hit home runs. And Jeff McNeil is not a home run guy. Until he gets it through, there, through his head and, and realize that he's a gap-to-gap -gap hitter who gets on base with singles and doubles, Jeff McNeil is never going to be the same guy he was in the first half of 2019 and when he came up in 2018. That's the biggest problem with Jeff McNeil. So that is your stats and, your, and the contract for Adam Frazier. And now we want to get into what type of trade scenario could make this deal happen for Adam Frazier. Well, what I think, and in my opinion, I think that Jeff McNeil would be in that deal. Reason B is because he got a couple more years left on his contract. He makes less than Adam Frazier at this moment. I did believe he makes between two and eight, about $2 million. So... Basically, the Pirates are saving money and getting the guy with control. And then you would have to give a low-level prospect. Probably not even in our top 10. Probably in our top 20. Probably 10 to 20 for most likely. So you can pick the guy you want. 
There's a lot of guys out there. You can pick a Newton. You know, I know JT Jin is in the top 10. Maybe it's a Pucky who is hovering around the top 10. A guy like that. Something that's not really big. It's probably going to be less than a JT Jin or a Thomas Zipucky. You know, but at the end of the day, I would be willing to make that move because I have a hard time thinking that Jeff McNeil is going to be the player and the hitter that I thought he was going to be like he was in early 2019 and 2018. That's my biggest concern with McNeil. McNeil is not a power hitter. McNeil's got to stop trying to think he's a power hitter. Got to stop with the launch angle crap, level out his swing, get singles and doubles, get on base, work his walks, and that's the Jeff McNeil I want. But I do not think that Jeff McNeil is going to go back to the ways that was the reason why he, the Mets brought him up a couple of years ago was because the guy was a hitting machine who hit for high average. Who nearly won the bat entire a couple years ago. That is the Jeff McNeil that I think is gone. And that's why I think Jeff McNeil and a lower level prospect will be the perfect deal for Adam Frazier. And it would be a perfect addition with Frazier in this mess lineup. Getting on base with a high average up in the order gives the big boppers time to bring him in. And that's the biggest reason why I think the Mets are really in on Adam Frazier. And I would not be surprised if this deal happens before any other deal when it comes to the Mets' uh, trade, trade options that they might have going into the trade deadline in a couple of weeks. So that is my reasoning for the Adam Frazier to the Mets. I do think that it's more than a little bit of rumors. I think the Mets really want a guy that they thought they had in Jeff McNeil. Adam Frazier is the perfect fit. For the New York Mets. And I think Sandy Olderson believes that as well. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget guys. If you enjoy this video. Hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my content. Want to see more. Want to get notified when I post my videos. And when I go live. Don't forget guys. Hit on that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think about my trade package. What you think about Adam Frazier. And what do you think. Do you think it's a good idea. To get rid of Jeff McNeil. In my opinion it's a yes. I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, let's go Mets!